Thank you all for coming out to watch me discuss the ever so daring, original, heavily sanitized, oligopoly approved opinion that Orange Man is bad. Orange Man is very, very bad. I'm here to falsely claim that my campaign is about telling the truth and virtue signal about how I am the only one supposedly doing it, but it is really about grifting for a book deal or a job at CNN or MSBC. It requires a lot of money to feed my fat ass after all. Bring me Solo and the Wookiee. Orange Man is mad, mad that he lost the dead people vote. So I am here to toe the establishment line about how questioning the shenanigans in 2020 is high treason, apparently, because that is what my deep state puppet masters want me to say. Democrats claim Trump won in 2016 because of Russian hackers, and I wouldn't put the KFC and Taco Bell for one measly minute to say something. Ambition isn't bad, it is required for the job, but obedience to devil-worshipping child molesters all blackmailing each other is far more important. As political candidates, we claim to work for the people, but we are really nothing more than human skin suits doing the bidding of corrupt plutocrats that don't give a shit about you. Bring me Solo and the Wookiee. The deep state hates Trump not because he is a perfect saint, but because they can't control him. Candidates have to answer a secret question of whether they are with the corrupt cabal or be destroyed by it like JFK was when the CIA murdered him in broad daylight. I never believed Trump was a foregone conclusion. It is no secret at this point that there are ways of dealing with those who don't go with the program. There is a problem in the GOP, and it is that its politicians are so afraid of the wrath of the growing populist wing that they have to support Trump publicly to avoid being primaried. I understand controlled opposition is part of the job of being a human skin suit, but we want to change this party, change it back to where the elite once again have full control of it. The elite have control of most of it as the two-party system continues to rot this republic from the inside, but most isn't all after all. Bring me Solo and the Wookiee. I would rather lose and get a book deal or a cushy commentator job than tell the actual truth and get Epstein. We are fighting for something bigger, for the perpetual enslavement of every man, woman, and child on this planet. The elite have power that your average person can't even begin to comprehend, but it will never be enough. People have spent too much time saying who should get out and not enough saying how bad Orange Man truly is. I am here virtue signaling about the character of a candidate while I openly voice support for transitioning children in one of the recent debates. The blood of their suicides will be on my hands for that, but I am sure they would make excellent adrenochrome smoothies. Bring me Solo and the Wookiee. We supposedly don't know what will come across a president's desk. But we do because nearly every conspiracy theory is actually a spoiler altered in disguise. They didn't ask about the Twin Towers in New Hampshire in 2000, but Larry Silverstein took out an insurance policy on those towers before they went cablewy. I am going to make a jab at how Donald Trump would hide out in a bunker in that case, though it wouldn't be as weird as W just sitting there in front of school children like nothing happened. A president has to at least pretend to be surprised for the lie to work we need to defeat Biden, supposedly even though I will probably support if Republican Hillary doesn't get the nomination. I am here to announce that I am getting my fat ass out while the getting is good. I may have said that Republican Hillary would get smoked by DeSantis in the recent debate, but I will probably endorse her soon to please my corporate masters. We can't let Orange Man become president again because Orange Man bad and bring me solo in the